What's up? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, uh, Fiat 500 owners, as a fellow Fiat 500 owner myself, uh, I love my Fiat, and as you know, there's no um, built-in GPS like there are in other cars. There's not even that option, only a, a standalone TomTom. -tom. And as you know, like the Garmin I have here, it doesn't integrate with the car very well. In the in the in When you're driving, when it gives you a direction, it just comes out of the GPS, and it doesn't come over the radio or shut off the radio like other car GPSs do and I wanted to show you the solution using my iPhone your Android will be similar um, and the nice thing about this is if you use the Google Maps app on iPhone uh, it, unlike a lot of the other map applications it actually uses the hands-free or the headset Bluetooth protocol so it it works right through your blue and me system and uh, interrupts the radio like it's a phone call gives you the spoken uh, audible direction and then goes hangs up and then you'll go right back to your radio so it's just like an integrated Bluetooth uh, or integrated GPS system but it's just using Bluetooth and the, the wonderful thing about that is um, you don't need to uh, have a separate a separate GPS if you have a, a really nice um, smartphone now I know what you're thinking Pete if it works that well why don't I just get an old 3GS or an old iPhone 4 off contract and just mount it in my car like uh, as you know an integrated GPS system well there's two reasons why you, you can't do that one the main reason is that the uh, the Google Maps app for iPhone does not support offline maps so if you don't have a data plan if it's not an active cell phone it's not gonna update maps get you the directions addresses uh, and search surf, search the web and then secondly the problem with the blue and me system is it compared to multiple phones but it only is active to the most recently paired phone so if you have um, your active phone that you want to use through the blue and me system for taking phone calls and things like that and you have another phone that's paired uh, simply to for the GPS if it, if either one of them looks like um, the primary phone the fiat just works only with that one so you get a call on uh, your phone it's not going to ring through the blue and me system which kind of defeats the purpose so you got to all have it all in one device at the moment um, it'll be great when this uh, application supports offline maps but it doesn't right now and I'm going to show you I'm going to go ahead and program in an address here quickly um, I'm going to hit start and I'm going to turn on the GPS West. here and it actually already gave me my very first turn command west onto west Town Line Road. And uh, you didn't hear it because the stereo was off. But now I've got I've got the radio on, and let's go ahead and do a quick little drive, so you can see it working. Seatbelts on, folks. It's gonna be a wild one. All right. So I'll let you keep watching it there. I'm actually not gonna go where the directions take me. So you'll see it giving me directions that I'm not following, but you'll get the point that it works just like an integrated system. Love the Fiats. And I've got a little home built rig holding up my iPhone. Head west. Alright. Turn left onto Aspen Drive, then turn left onto West Town Line Road. Gave me the command, hung up, goes right back to the radio. So you can see how it works. Um, pretty snazzy, pretty slick. Definitely check it out. Google Maps app. For iPhone, I believe it works the same way in Android. Um, nice solution for those that of us Fiat owners who are looking Turn for um, something to use on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, man, that's the Panda out. Woo!